What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Cass and this is actually me and my husband's joint channel, but he's not here right now. So I'm just starting this video without him. We just got back from Ohio. We were visiting my family, which was super fun. We got to see a lot of my family and friends, but we were gone for a week, which we just moved into here. We were here for like mm, three-ish weeks and then we left to go to Ohio. So when we came back, we were like, definitely ready to be back and just get settled back into our new routine here in Florida. We've been loving living here, but you know, just getting back into the groove of things because we were like basically traveling all summer. So then when we finally moved here, we were like, finally, like we're in our new home and then we left again. So it's really good to be back. Also, when we were in Ohio, I dyed my hair a lot darker than normal. This is like the darkest my hair has ever, ever been. So yeah, that's a little new update. Basically today we just wanted to take you guys through a day in our life and we're gonna film a different video of our like morning routine. So we didn't film that today. It's about 11 a.m. right now as I'm starting this. So yeah, we already woke up and did both of our morning routines. We kind of have like similar, but we do different things too, if that makes sense. So we're gonna film it for you guys. But I think today we're going to go to the beach. So I'm super excited because I haven't been to the beach in a hot minute since, you know, we were in Ohio. And yeah, I'm just really happy to be back. I have my little swimsuit on here. It's like a one piece, this little lemon swimsuit. And then I just threw some stuff over it, obviously, to go to the beach. So yeah, when Johnny gets home, we're going to leave. And I'm so, so excited. Here's my girl, maybe. Oh, hi. I think Maple wants to say hi. You're upside down. I don't think she knows that she's upside down. We just got this delivered to our front door, literally just like this, not in a box or anything. This is literally massive. We're all ready for the beach. Beach, say beach. Hi. What's up, vlog? We're back in Florida. Johnny's back with me now. It's been raining here like literally every single day. Sometimes the whole entire day. And it so, rained in Ohio. So like we haven't yeah. seen the sun rays in weeks. So we're like very pale and white. So yeah, I the look sun's so out. Pale. So we're like, we got to go to the beach. We're going to the beach and we're getting tan. I yeah, hope. Hopefully. I better it's leave there humid, feeling like very crispy. It's going to be, it's humid outside. It's like 91 and still pretty humid but yeah and we packed a little lunch for us and stuff so it's gonna be a fun little beach day I definitely got burned. And we were only there for a few hours. No, so. not even. I don't even think we were there. We were there like two hours. Yeah. Like two full complete hours. I feel like you can see it in my face. I haven't, like, we haven't gone sun in weeks. I know, it's bad. Like we were dark and then we just lost it all. So yeah, I hopefully got some of my tan back today. But we're heading home, but we were like, let's stop at Ollie's because if you don't know what Ollie's is, it's like a bargain store and I haven't been in years. And then we were in Ohio, we went with my mom, and I was like, wait, they kind of have some good stuff. Right after we had a budget talk yesterday. Yeah, we mm -hmm. had our monthly budget talk. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna go to Ollie's and see if we can find any good deals. Last time, like the one we went to in Ohio, they had like a bunch of Target stuff, and it was like random stuff, but you just never know what you're gonna find there. So we'll update you guys what we find. Literally have so much Target stuff in here. Like they have the blankets, comforters. These are the Christmas pajamas we literally got last year. I think I'm gonna get this blanket. It's on sale for $10 and it's normally $25 at Target. Ollie's haul got some good stuff when we were there. So Don't say we. We did. You. We. First. This cutie little jewelry tray, it looks like a flower. Does that look like a wee thing? So cute, yeah. Looks like something you would like too. 
And then I got one of the blankets that I showed you guys in the store. It's so soft. Like for $10. Look, Maple loves it. She loves the blanket. Did you miss us? She missed us a lot. And then some more Aquaphor. And we got two new toothbrushes. Some pumpkin Febreze. It smells so good. Mm. It is a little bit later. We're all nice and showered. Hass is in there. Don't yeah, the hair wash night. Well, yeah, we went in the ocean, so obviously a hair wash night. But I just got an Xbox, actually. I haven't had a game station in years and just got an Xbox One from Cass's mom and uh, playing Fortnite. So it was major. If you hear that, I don't know if you can hear the camera, but our neighbors upstairs suck. Literally suck so bad. All they do is stomp all day. I don't even know if you could hear that, but it's honestly so annoying. Back to what I was saying though, playing Fortnite again. It's just back to college days. Ah, some good memories. And I won, I won my second game, so I'm pretty much back. I don't know um, if you guys have seen this on our joint channel, but this is our desk that we got from Nathan James. This desk is awesome. Now we're just waiting for the chair to come in. It's supposed to come in like four days. It's supposed to come in four days, so maybe next vlog. I think it's like a Sherpa chair or something like that. I don't know, she got it, but she's looking forward to it. And I am as red as my shirt right now. Shout out cuts. I love you guys. We're getting a rug for our living room, so I picked out three. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Johnny look at them. So I'll let you guys know which rug we choose on. I still need to show you them. Mm. They're all just sitting in my car right now, but I wanna order it so that it's here like ASAP. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do that. So I can show you I think we're gonna make some dinner right now, and then I guess we'll see what's going on. Here's the rugs. This one is the most expensive, of course. But it's my favorite. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never show me three things, four <laughs> things, five things, and not your favorite be the most expensive one. Yeah. I'm a little different. Honest opinion? Sucks. No, oh, why do you need it? It's not, look, it doesn't look soft at all. Those look, look so uncomfortable. Plus, that looks like it's gonna get so dirty so fast. Veto. Well, then you're gonna hate all my rugs. You told me you didn't care. This one? Yes. Sheepskin. This is the second most expensive. That's kind of what it looks like. Okay, and then here's the last one. It's the cheapest. Um, I like it. I don't love it. It kind of looks like meh to me. It looks mm -hmm. really soft. Holy fluff. Sweet potato fries are in the air fryer. And Patty's cooking. And Mabe is chowing down on her dinner. <laughs> and we got the good buns. That's and we got there. some Hawaiian buns. Burgers are done. There's Cass's right there. It kind of looks like a Krabby Patty. Fine. Right here, and then sweet potato fries. And we're gonna eat. Oh yeah. Hello. Cass is. Why are you, why are you filming me? It's a day in life. <laughs> Look at all the clothes we have. So bad. Dinner was gas. I'm really in my sweet potato fries era. I think I've discovered that, and those burgers are really good too. Honestly, so good. Do you like it? Yes. It was good. I think it's finally gotten to the point where Mapie's getting used to Florida a little bit. She was a little sad when we first moved here, but I think she's getting used to it. We've actually now had Mape for over a year. Her actual, like her birthday birthday is in June, but we got her last August. August. If anyone remembers, was that our first YouTube video on this channel? Yeah. I think our first, we'll have to throw up what she looked like. Okay, this is what she's like now. She's being crazy. And we'll put up what uh, she looked like in our first video. She was so small, she was so small. I like, we definitely like, miss her looking like that even though she's still cute but like looking like back pounds, looking like back on the on the year like it started out like low-key crazy and that's like the weird thing about social yeah. media too is i feel like people don't always see like what's going on and stuff we've had her for a year now so we can kind of just like talk about it i guess yeah. like the experience but like, well, like it'll be helpful for other people who get dogs too. yeah so we'll just make this a little segment of one year review of first time dog owners. Yeah. Well, like Cass had a dog growing up, but it was like the family dog. Yeah. 
definitely a different type of dog than maybe it was a german shepherd and i never i didn't like not take care of him at all like right. i would only take him outside if i was the only one home but if someone else was home i never took him out like you know what i mean like it wasn't my responsibility where maple was like yeah, and I, totally our I never had a dog. So we basically, like we always said we wanted one. We were going to get, and when we were going to get married, it wasn't our plan to get one then. And then we were going to wait until we were out of our first apartment. And like literally probably like this would be the time we were getting a puppy. Yeah. Like at this time of the year. It was last August. We weren't getting married until December. And we were just, I was basically like, I want a puppy. Yeah, because <laughs> I, you were like by yourself a lot of the days yeah because i was at work and stuff and, and i just didn't want to be like alone obviously so much wasn't until i was like i'm gonna have a dog with me but like i kept saying no because i'm like yeah. i wanted to at least wait till we were like in the same place and everything and but once we saw maple we couldn't turn it down but yeah it did not start off so basically like we filmed that youtube video and that was like what the, the day after we got her yeah i think so and we thought like everything was good that first two weeks were i think we got her on like a monday or tuesday or something i think on tuesday maybe and by friday those, it was bad those first that first week and the first two weeks were so bad basically long story short she could not figure out it wasn't like even close like she really just could not use the bathroom outside no she would use the bathroom outside we would take her up and five minutes later she had peed everywhere or she'd poop everywhere you were waking up how many times in the middle of the night to yeah, take her out? Yeah, so many times in the middle of the night. Because she just could not make it through the night. And the thing was, if we tried putting puppy pads down, she wouldn't use them. Like, she would tear them up. Tear them up so puppy pads wouldn't work. And it was just crazy. Anytime you, you didn't look at her, and I mean, obviously it's a puppy, but it's like, it was yeah. she was a lot harder than what I've heard as far as most people ex like experiences yeah. with it like and we tried getting the bells for her to ring she didn't even know what they were like was almost like scared of them could not she could not figure out like literally any second you didn't watch her she was using the bathroom somewhere it, yeah. was, it was almost like we had to be watching her it, at all it was times. weird how often she was using the bathroom considering she wasn't like really eating or like drinking a ton yeah. but it was like she was constantly going to the bathroom so that was a mess i was gone a, a lot of the time at work and then I would come spend like the evenings with with them like after work and stuff and it's like I was in a really stressful job at this point basically um, at the beginning of the school year and it was like I'm babysitting kids who can't even they, they're pissing their pants and yeah. they're pooping their pants and then I come oh, to spend time school. with you guys and every five minutes yeah. Maple's pissing on which way crap and we cleaned up so much pee like it was, it was bad. so bad and so then it was like you stressful would text me when you were like at work and be like you know and i'm like she pee again yeah like, and i'm like there's no mess. way and it was like to the point where i had just started this job that ended up being just really kind of toxic a really bad environment we were planning a wedding trying to adjust to life in texas like we weren't married yet like just crazy things like yeah. it was just like a lot well, of stuff and i wanted like a dog to be there with me but then i felt like i couldn't work because i had to watch her you couldn't you couldn't leave the apartment because no and i couldn't take my eyes off of her basically it like unless she was sleeping then i was like oh, i can get work done then like you can the, work the another sleeping. thing was is she for the first beginning showed no type of attachment towards us yeah and she wanted away from us as much as possible she wouldn't cuddle with us like didn't want to lay with if us if we were sitting down like was the far end of the room like yeah. if we picked her up she was screaming just like yeah. had nothing to do with us so we were at the point where we're like this dog hates us we have no emotional connection with it and i think she's showing off for the camera she's not usually this crazy no she's not she's like really chill i think she knows you know. we're filming right now and, i don't know uh, what she's doing but it was just that really friday the friday after we got her yeah. we were out to pizza after a long str stressful week and we we're like you know what let's go get pizza we're like let's take her with let's us let's take her with us really good like family time and she pissed in my brand new truck on the seat. And for me, that was like the last drop. Not leather seats either, so it wasn't no, an easy No, it was use. just straight in the vinyl yeah. seats. My brand new truck. And I was just like, I don't want this dog. <laughs> like, I told her, like, she was crying at dinner because- I, I was really crying. I told her, I said, I don't want this dog. Like, I don't like this dog. I didn't really want a dog to begin with. It's creating stress for us. You're constantly, you were up. You never slept. No, yeah, I was always exhausted. Constantly cleaning up stuff. Like, I, w I couldn't focus at school because I'm like, 
how are Cass and Maple doing? Like, you know, it was like planning a wedding, all this moving to Texas. It was yeah. like so much at once. And I was like, we should not have done this. Then it got to the point where you didn't feel that way exactly. Like it was tough on you, but you didn't necessarily feel that like yeah. at the beginning. Well, I knew it was going to be tough in the beginning. Though, yeah. So I wasn't like, but I then know, like, I was like fine with it. But. This is all stuff that we have never talked about. Cause it was like, we were embarrassed because yeah. we're like, oh, we can't even take care of a dog, yeah. you know? And I feel like we're very like nurturing people. So I was like so confused on why like it wasn't working out really. But I would say like probably 10 to 12 days into it. So like maybe that next Wednesday or Thursday, Cass was to the point and she goes like, I think we probably need to like rehome her. Yeah. It was well, that I bad. didn't want it to like tear us apart like, yeah. planning a wedding and it was like so much stress and I was like, upset about it but i was like i think that like we need to get rid of and her. the thing was is we still didn't have like any emotional attachment to yeah. her like we were like this dog doesn't like us really yeah. and it was like we she wouldn't really even play with us you yeah. know what i'm saying it was like she would play by herself yeah it was it was not good it, there were some really tearful like conversations and stuff and it was like it was really tough but yeah. we, we were like sobbing the whole time literally we were sitting i remember we were in like the game room at the old apartment yeah and these kids were in there they came in after we had already started talking though and Cass, so i'm like crying Cass is just bawling and these kids came in there just like playing and stuff and Cass was bawling but we actually decided like at one point we were actually going to get rid of maple i don't know it was just a weird situation yeah. but we were just so embarrassed because we just posted about her just like got her and i know like that's not like obviously you don't keep a dog because of like social media but it right. was like so much pressure for things to like be perfect i guess and mm -hmm. And That's so kind of like what like social really media does, yeah. But yeah, I think we were just really embarrassed. We're like, how can we yeah. not even keep a dog for two weeks? You know, yeah. I don't, I don't know. It was just like, yeah. it was just a lot. It, it was, was very lot. like emotional two weeks. Um, and we got into the process of rehoming. I contacted the breeder asking yeah. if they would take her back, and they were like, no, we don't do that. And we were trying to see like if family members would want her. That way we could still see her. Another but... thing too is that she showed signs of possible like like mental problems in the beginning. Yeah. Like she could not walk straight. She walked sideways. She wasn't. We didn't even know if she could hear us. Like we thought for like yeah. like a few days that she might be deaf because we literally could not get her attention. Yeah. And we're like, could this dog? Not? There was just like so much it was just a lot we were which like not that we would get rid of her just because she had something wrong no, with her, but no it was, it was just, just like, so much like on top of yeah, so everything. basically like none of that was on social media um a couple opportunities came up to rehome her and it just didn't feel right and so not yeah. that we were like oh we're gonna keep her we're just like we'll just move on to the next opportunity yeah. and we just like something was just never letting us like i think that in the weeks where people were reaching out about her like we were getting closer to her and so then we slowly were, like, even though we didn't it, you, even yeah. though we didn't realize it it wasn't like an instant like oh wait we want to keep her now it was just like over the time of people like reaching out and stuff we would just be like no like we're yeah sick. we always found like one thing with like them that was like yeah we didn't want like we still like loved her and wanted her to go to a good home it's yeah. just we just thought and we were, it wasn't like, making with us. these people like send us pictures of their family and stuff because i was like i want to know exactly where she's going and Pretty much like it really, obviously we have her, like we didn't get rid of her. Yeah. It, I mean, it was a God thing, but we didn't get rid of her. It, it literally, really was. She, this sounds like crazy, but she's like our whole world. I think. Literally, like, I don't like know. Like in a healthy way. Pastor's friend Brooklyn came to visit and we went. Yeah. I really think this is like what like helped us or she came down and I literally remember like when I came back from work one of the days and I came over, um, to visit and you and Brooklyn were there. I just got home from a long day and like Maple came over and was like biting my ankles. I want to stop biting my ankles. And I literally like grabbed her in the face and I was like, I don't even want you. You know, like I was literally at that point, I was like, I don't like like you as a dog. Aww. But that weekend we, yeah. we were wanted to go to Magnolia, right? Yeah. Cause we'd never been there and it was like an hour away and she was still so young as a puppy that we yeah. couldn't leave her. Like we can't leave her. So, so we had her. to take her. And I was like, well, I'll just let the girls hang out, do the thing at Magnolia and I'm just gonna carry Maple around. I don't know like wh what happened, but like in that course of two hours, I legit fell in love with that dog. And I was like, this is my dog. Yeah. Like no one's gonna take her, like even through all like what's going on, like this is my dog and I want her. Yeah. And like, I don't know what it is, like, but like we connected like on that just trip to like Waco. We took pictures with her and stuff. Yeah. And we were like, don't post it. Cause we, we were literally like taking yeah. pictures of her, but we're like, we can't post it because we'll probably get rid of her and yeah. stuff. But it was like, oh, wait, I just remember too when Brooklyn was there that time. I was like, 
because she was like playing with maple and stuff and I remember I was like don't get attached to her like we're getting rid of her and stuff and then and then after that trip to Magnolia and we decided to keep her and we like told Brooklyn like we're keeping her Brooklyn was like yay like I yeah. get to see you again <laughs> no it was just like that literally that day trip like yeah. showed me that it was like no this is like our dog yeah like we just gotta stick through it it didn't necessarily get better right away yeah but she's literally the best dog in the world. No, like, she's so I, good. Like I said before, like I can't imagine if we if we gave her up, like our relationship would look different. Yeah. Like who knows where we'd be. Like I think it definitely we definitely would have regretted it, even not knowing how good of a dog she became. Yeah. And like I think it would definitely have put a stress on our relationship at the end of the day, like knowing that we gave her up. Yeah, I agree. But like not having her like in my life and our life, like I can't imagine it. Like I she's know. literally like my like little <laughs> therapy dog. Like she gets me. I she's just literally. so happy and no, but she's like the best dog and people whenever like someone sits her for us or like just if she sees like family or friends or whatever, yeah. everyone's always like, She's so well behaved and we're like, We know like Like she's done She's so good. She's done so good with her training and, and we like yeah. we worked hard with her but she's the best dog, excited that she's gonna be, you know, our family dog for yeah. a long time and but it was a crazy it's crazy that we've had her for a year. It's crazy like the beginning of it, but I like know. yeah, I mean we almost got rid of Maple. That's just it's like people probably click clicked on this video and like that would have been so crazy like, like i can't even imagine we almost got river it would have been our biggest mistake we've ever made i know and i would have so been glad. like i would have really been heartbroken i'm so glad god didn't let us do it and i remember when we were talking about getting rid of her like taking her to like meet the the family to like give her away i was like i can't go like you're there was literally a family we were we like slowly were making that connection with her and I mean, she's just like the best dog. And now she was at our wedding and so many memories. Okay. She wakes us up every day just full of happiness and joy. She's always so excited to see us. But truly, if you have a dog and they're like not doing the potty training and stuff, I feel like she wasn't like fully potty trained until she was like six months old. Like around I would say, I would say like around four months, it was pretty good. Yeah. And then, but then like here and there, accident. she would still have an accident. But I would say the big thing that we did, I would recommend for anyone getting a dog. First, like don't feel bad. Like if you're going through those hard like puppy yeah. times, like don't feel like you're this bad person or like you're like, you can't like taking care of a puppy is really hard, yeah, especially depending really on is. what your life circumstances are at the point. But it's like one thing huge for us was crate training. And like yeah. it really sucked that first week. She yeah. hated the crate. She, she would cry screamed and cried in her crate, through the day, through which the night. We just felt horrible for leaving her in there and stuff. That's like that's what you gotta do. I would like try to play music for her and stuff, yeah. but it's like. But now it's like that, she loves her crate. She puts herself to bed she, every night. Yeah, we'll put herself into. She's like, I'm bed. done for the night. She goes to the crate, like it's yeah. her, it's her like safe she place. Loves it. Yeah, so crate training, just you gotta have patience. And I think like we just came into it with probably a little bit higher expectations yeah. for what like a puppy would be so it's like try to go into it with just like as low no. of expectations like, just be assume like they're gonna be bad be crazy and then if they're not as crazy then you lucked out yeah but it's like it gets better you just have to be consistent with your training and just know that like they're literally babies they don't yeah they don't understand no like she didn't understand so it's like you can't even be mad at her because she no. doesn't even know what's going on no but i was gonna say how we were saying she like wasn't attached to us didn't want to cuddle and stuff that like changed so much now she, she is won't leave us alone our butts we literally just have to put her outside of the room right now because she like will not leave us alone because yeah. she's like right here in our face and we're just like trying to finish it so she's like right like, there if we like are on the couch or something and she wants to lay with us like she has to be touching one of us like if we would like kiss she would be right there yeah. in the middle like she if cannot just, she freaks out she's the like, most like up our butt like yeah. lovey touchy dog ever so that was so different than how she was as a puppy I but know, it's like when she was a puppy we were like she we would literally like, like we were like oh it's a puppy you know like let's cuddle like put her on our left no far end corner of the room yeah. lay down just look at us like with like yeah. But yeah, that's that's, that's us spilling the spilling the yeah. beans for you. Almost we almost got rid of Maple. Would have been Yay. the worst mistake ever. <laughs> yeah, literally. Watch. This is how Maple is. We just open the door. Maple, come. <laughs> <laughs> usually, Cass will wake up a little bit like before me. She's usually a little bit better at waking up, and so she'll take her out and feed her. And then right as she's done, she gets right under the door of the bedroom and she puts her paws under and she just starts whining until I wake up. Like she 
will not let her if day Maple's go. Maple's awake, everybody has to If Maple's awake, everyone's awake. And that's our one year update Squishy. of Maple Bean. Maple has so many nicknames. Yeah, Maybe, Mabe, Beanie, Bean, Squishy. We are watching football, or basically Johnny's watching football, and I'm sitting on the couch with him. But I wanted to pull you guys our favorite snack right now. The TV's so loud. So sorry. But we've been literally loving True of Real. The strawberries are my personal favorite, but can't go wrong with any, to be completely honest. Maybe's tucked in for bed. Well guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. It's 11.20 something. Monday Night Football ends late here on the East Coast. It's crazy. It's something you gotta get used to, but football's over. Time to go to bed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Goodbye, Mabe. Goodbye, bye. Say, you didn't give me away. I stayed, I stayed here. I survived. I told them the story. She's a bear.